Let's begin this lesson by defining quality. Quality is defined as meeting the requirements of the customer. Well, what features do you look for when purchasing a car? What facilities do you want in your house or apartment when buying one? What do you expect from a premium chocolate candy bar? Answers to these questions will tell what quality means to you for each of these items. Here's a snapshot of the quality journey with a few key milestones. In the 1930s, the idea of statistical process control was conceived by Walter Schuert to monitor and control a process using statistical methods. This was used extensively during World War II to quickly expand industrial capabilities of the U.S. In the 1960s, quality circles were formulated. A quality circle is a self-improvement workers group that performs similar work, meets regularly to identify, analyze, and solve work-related problems. In 1987, the International Organization for Standardization designed ISO 9000. This is a set of international standards on quality management and quality assurance for organizations to implement quality management systems. In 1987, the Baldrige Award criteria was developed by U.S. Congress to raise awareness of quality management systems and recognize U.S. companies that have successfully implemented quality management systems. In 1988, the concept of benchmarking was introduced. Benchmarking is an improvement process where an organization measures its performance against the best organizations in its field, determines how such performance levels were achieved, and uses the information to improve its own performance. During the 1990s, the Balanced Scorecard, or BSC, was introduced. It is a management tool that helps managers at all levels to align activities to the strategy of their organization and to monitor the multiple results obtained in their key areas. In 1996, the concept of reengineering was introduced. Reengineering is also known as business process reengineering, which involves restructuring an entire organization. Taking a process to Six Sigma level ensures that the quality of the product is maintained. The primary goal of improved quality is increased profits for the organization. In very simple terms, quality is defined as the degree of excellence of a product or a service provided to the customer. It is conformance to customer requirement. If the customer is satisfied with the product or service, then the product or service is of the required quality. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.